Welcome to today's presentation. My name is Dario Aditloye. Today I will be talking about how to write the CV that can work in Nigeria. Nigeria is my country and uh, I've been in this terrain for so long working in the business sector and helping people to start off their businesses and also helping them to start their career. So today we will be talking about how to write a CV and this CV is very important but before I move on I want you to take down my website the first one is www.dariadetsloye.com that one is where we talk more about business planning and business activity multi-level marketing and all that the second one is freshgraduatecv.com this is specially designed for fresh graduates on how they can package their cv attend job interviews and get their first job and also how they can get a how they can get go outside the country for further studies all those informations you get it there so the name of our organization is directly business zone so are you looking for a job if yes you are looking for a job then let's go together to study more about how people from nowhere become somebody by packaging their cvs and applying for jobs a lot of people believe that there is no job even in recession in nigeria today people are still changing jobs and people are getting new jobs so there are actually secrets yes i said secrets of writing a cv for nigeria employers there are things that employers need in nigeria today in your cv before they can actually invite you for interview if you look at this picture very well you will see a lot of cvs have been trashed and they are going to be put in those bin and a lot of cvs done like that so what is the secret okay before i tell you the secrets we need to look at online advertising if you are looking for job as of today the internet must be your friend gone are the days where all the jobs are in newspaper and all that but today 70 percent of jobs in nigeria are online and the other percentage you can get them for referrals so be familiar with websites like jobberman and all the websites that helps you to get uh advertising job advertising easily so what is a cv your cv is short for curriculum writer a is a personal marketing tool used to sell yourself to prospect employers you should tell them about you your professional history your skills ultimately if you show why you are the best candidate for the job now i tell people that your cv is yourself people will not be there but your cv will be there so it has to be well presented so what's the we will look at the difference between cv and resume most of the time we confuse these two words together cv and resume when should you use it uh, like we rightly said a cv is used by the british why resume is used by american that's one first differentiating characteristics but looking at a cv we say it means course of life in latin word and it's called curriculum writer a it's an in-depth document that can be laid out over two or more pages and it contains a high level of detail about your achievements a great deal more than just a career biography 
the CV covers your education as well as any other accomplishment like publications, awards and honors. The document tends to organize the chronologically and should make it easy to get an overview of an individual full working career. A CV is static and doesn't change for different positions. The difference will be in the cover letter. So we are saying that CV is used in Nigeria most of the time because we we are uh, we get our own lineage from the Britain. Why the Americans they use resume? But let's look at what resume is all about. A resume is a concise document, typically not longer than one page, as intended. The reader will not dwell on your document for very long. Goal of resume is to make an individual stand out from competition, and this is very important. There are some jobs that they will ask you specifically send your resume. So, a job seeker should adapt the resume to every position they apply for. It is the applicant's interest to change the resume from one job application to another and to tailor it to the needs of specific posts. A resume doesn't have to be ordered chronologically doesn't have to cover your whole career life and it is highly customizable document. So we are saying that resume is more specific and is shorter than a CV and doesn't have to cover everything about you. So a resume is a fresh word that means sum up and we are talking about the fact that it's a brief job specification document that summarizes the job experience, skill set, and accomplishment. The length of a resume is usually one or two pages, whereas the length of the CV may vary as per the content. So we have explained there. So we say because Nigeria follows the basic British rules, CV is a more acceptable term here. So the difference between them, we have mentioned that CV is long. And it's longer and covers your entire career and static by resuming short and no particular format. I will say here that no matter the what you are writing, either CV or resume, there are some key things you must put into place to ensure that anywhere you are presenting your marketing tool, which is your CV, to market yourself your skills. A lot of people say, I'm doing business, I don't need a CV. It's not only because you want to apply for a job, that that's the reason why you have to write a CV. For example, I know of myself that the, more, the day I wrote my own CV, I was to have a scholarship for a particular course outside the country. And they demanded that I submitted my CV. So I have to put something solid together. So we are saying today that you don't just package your CV because you are looking for a job. The opportunity will come that you might have to show a master cutting tool of yourself. So uh, we've talked about the fact that the tool you need for to showcase your skills and talent is your CV. So we have different format for the CV. And we have the first one as the chronological CV or resume. And the types of CV and resume we have, we have the chronological, the functional, the targeted, and the universal. And this we will explain in the following slides. But much more important than all the formats we have, one thing I want you to note is when we call for people to submit their CV, it's more or likely because in our organizations we have a problem. We are looking for the savior that will save us and the person we will employ that will solve this problem. So how do you package your CV as a problem solver? Beyond your English vocabulary you put on the paper, we want to really know do you have the right skills? Do you have the right attitude? Do you have the right certification? to solve our problem. All these things are the reason why we request for CVs. So we have the functional CV and this focuses on your career functions. And this is an example that 
if you are a technical person then functional cv will be good for you we have a targeted cv this one has to be targeted to a particular vacancy that you desire in a company so if you send a cv as front desk officer that means you have to target it for that purpose we have the universal cv and this one is what you can use generally we call it hybrid anybody can use it and you can use it for other important function so we are still talking about curriculum vitae talking about your cv how do you write a good one in nigeria and that's the purpose of this class today so that at the end of this class you'll be able to know exactly the way the employer is thinking and what the employer is expecting to see in your cv before you present it usually a cv should contain the following information one your personal details the name the address your age but the age is not compulsory i will tell you more about what you should do with age later the phone number your email put this information in the strategic location in legible fonts easily noticeable by the employer and make sure that the data are current so just some job seekers can fix in emails addresses that are not theirs uh let me quickly send a note of warning here your email must sound professional let me repeat that repeat that again your email must sound professional what do i mean by that there are some people today their email address is something like bigguys at duper.com all those ones just tell the employer that you are not serious the best kind of email you should use is the one that has to do with your name for example my own name is diaris louis and my email is diaris louis at gmail.com so give us something simple something straightforward your name is preferable don't give us a name that we can't spell then put your address in the location that we can see it especially at the top of the page so for example if the job application is in lagos the address we want to see is lagos address not delta state address or Ondo state address or kaduna state address whereas if the job will be in kaduna don't go and put lagos address because all these things are what pieces of when we look at your cv the second one is education and your qualification you start with the highest like the sample you are seeing now we have the 2009 university of lagos ba history and international relations so just follow this sample and if you know that you're a first class graduate and you graduated with a strong gp you can put it there even if you are two one but if your two one is three point two five one you might not put it there but if your two one is four point zero one you can put it there especially if the job demands for a brain a, a braining uh job so you can put it there the third one is work experience uh, this is very very important you know in most of the job opportunities we have today when you see the advert they will tell you must have three years experience and fresh graduate will tell you that we are fresh graduate we don't have experience so what do you expect to do to get this job let me start with the age uh the the age barrier that people face once they tell you that no more than 28 is required to apply for this job don't put your age in the application okay but if you know that you are within that age range put it so those are the things that we encourage you now work experience for a fresh graduate you must do something on campus don't just waste four years five years doing nothing join organizations 
become secretary become president become treasurer become a member be active at a committee even in your church you can also have you can be the choir leader or the financial secretary in your church do something those things are what we are looking for because we are looking at scenarios where you have shown some skills that we are looking at interest and ability that is number four uh this section we are looking for people that are team player people that are motivated and it is scenarios you create for us in your series and when we interview you eventually are what we will look for so we want to see the leader in you we want to know your interests and your abilities then your hobbies and all that then the finally the, the fifth one is references so what do we mean by references normally two references or referees are required one academic from lecturer or the professor supervisor and the other one from your internship quickly let's look at transferable skills in the workplace i want you to study this chart very well the first column is the communication the next one is research and planning the next one is human relations organizing and management and leadership then work survivor skills now all these skills are what we want to see in your cv so for example communication we want to see if you will be a good communicator if you have speaking skills and if you have listening skills if you have negotiation interviewing skills and all that so we have research and planning we want to know if you are a problem solver if you know how to set goals oh my relation we want to know if you can relate properly if you if you can cooperate with people if you can delegate and organizing too we want to know how you handle issues if you if you pay attention to teach details if you can teach very coach if you have an advertising if you have an advising skills then work survivor skills we have attending to details and meeting goals so you can study this very well all these things they are very important in the workplace and we have the action verb you see when you are writing your cv we want to see all this action verb for example achieved completed those are accomplishment words we have the communication words like i collaborated i composed having advertised we have helping enriched enhanced endorsed enabled elated cancelled then we have the public problem solving this one we have something like repair analyze alleviated and we have the technical skills but as much as possible you have to be thinking like the owner of this business i want to employ somebody to come in so the question now is you have to design when you see any advert and you want to apply for the job and you want to package your cv think like the owner of the business what skill sells do you want this person to acquire to have so we have the formatting your resume or your cv and this simply means that as you are typing your cv how do you format it so we have the length if you are a fresh graduate it should not be more than two pages but if you have been in the industry for long you can have like three to four pages max whatever the case only print your document on one side of the paper so we are saying that I don't do front and back some people like that very much because they want to save cost print front only affording using a resume or cv template uh during the course of this training where we did it in lucky for a foundation there we did this presentation i advised them that even though we gave them a lot of templates my own cv we gave then if you want to see my own cv go to freshgraduatecv.com 
you will see my CV on that website. So we gave them a lot of samples, like about four samples for fresh graduate, for people that have been in the industry for a while. But you should not just follow a word for word. Check out spellings and read properly. Organize your document, use bold italics, caps, and different things that will make it more interesting. Uh, let's continue with formatting your resume or CV. So present your resume CV on a good quality bond paper. So put it on a good paper. Then if you are requested to submit via email, save your resume and CV and cover letter as attachments. Attach them. Don't just copy and paste inside the email. Attach it into a Microsoft Word. And then other things you also take note as an employer is you would not want to be bothered by CVs that looks like handout. A two-page CV is excellent, like we said that. And use a good font. Check out your grammatical error and spellings. So make it original and make it interesting. Never include your CV, what you are not 100 percent certain will be a plus. So we tell people, don't just put anything. Anything you can defend, don't put it there. Then keep it short and simple. Ensure that you can defend everything that you have written in your CV. I, I, avoid pronunciation or personal pronouns like I, my, we. Complete sentence to describe your experience. Start your statement with action verb like instead of saying I engaged, just say engaged. Alright? So you need to apply now. So I'm telling you right now, with this short information i've given to you you need to apply when you see any job opportunity that you like that is in that resonates with you that that you you have passion for the first thing i want you to do is study the company think like the owner of the company put together the skill set that you want the person to have then profile yourself as that so at the bottom of this of this youtube channel pull down your question we would be there to answer you we want to reference some key websites here that has helped us when we are preparing this slide we have www.cvlibrary.co.uk and we have www.jobberman.com thanks to this website we were able to extract some information from their website when we are doing the research for this work so like i said before directly.com is a website for our business why fresh graduate cv.com is where we do all the cv stuffs that you are seeing now and if you want to see my cv go to fresh graduate cv.com you will see it there as a sample format for you I ask for your next program. If you have derived value from what we have here today that we have shared with you, you can reach me on 08060779290 and you can also visit our website. We will be so glad to hear from you. We will be so glad to also have us in your next event. If you want to do programs on business we can handle any aspect of business training for you and if you want to also handle career and business together we can do that for you we do a lot of trainings in nigeria so on this note thank you for listening to us it's because of you that we are also doing what we are doing from this end thank you so 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 much you can share this video with your loved ones thank you very much